Little Blue Hoodie and the Big Bad Lion. Our story takes place on a relatively normal day when Blue Hoodie and his mother just sat down at the table for breakfast. They had tuned on the radio for the morning news. The news was, wasn't that interesting to Little Blue, but his mother would usually turn it on for the weather updates and the occasion, occasional traffic warning. However, all of a sudden, the usual weather forecast was interrupted for a breaking news update that caught both of their attention. Breaking news, a ravenous lion has escaped from Central Park Zoo and is on the loose. Make sure you lock your doors and call the animal control immediately if you or a family member see an encounter with this ferocious creature. Both Little Blue Hoodie and his mother were shocked. You see, Little Blue Hoodie had an el elderly grandfather who lived on the outskirts of the city in Manhattan. Gra grandfather had not been too well lately. He had cut. He had come down with the flu. Little Blue Hoodie would often visit his grandfather, father's house, to bring him his medicine, make him a book, some soup on the stove, and take his grandfather's dog, a woolly grey husky called Wolf, on a walk. Little Blue Hoodie didn't mind his, didn't mind this. However, as he enjoyed his grandfather's company. Later that day, at around lunchtime, Little Blue Hoodie set off on his little blue bike to his grandfather's house. He cycled down the usual bustling streets of New York that now were rather quiet. He cycled past the Empire State Building and the Rockefeller Center before he finally reached Central Park. Feeling rather exhausted, Little Blue Hoodie got off his bike, leaned it against a tree, and sat down on a nearby bench to catch his breath. However, he had completely forgot about the rampaging lion, and that is where things went completely downhill. You see, behind Little Blue, a dark, furied lion was crouched and waiting to pounce about to catch what she thought would have been her next meal little blue felt a hot breath behind him and as he slowly started to retreat from the wooden bench the lion pounced only just missing him little blue take, taken back bottled towards his bike and rode off all the while being being pursued by a bloodthirsty lion. Little Blue cycled as fast as his pedals would take him, and thinking that the lion had lost track of him, he quickly pulled over his bike outside his grandfather's house. He then entered. He was then greeted by Wolf the dog, batting her tail from side to side and barking loudly. He pa patted Wolf on the head before opening the door a crack to let through some fresh air and walking upstairs. However, Wolf the dog kept barking as if he sent some sort of danger. Hello, Blue, his grandfather chirped. Ha Hello, grandfather, little Blue replied as he sat down on the brown leather set seat next to his grandfather's bed. Ten minutes had passed, Wolf the dog was sounding hoarse, but she was still barking. Nonetheless, Blue got up, walked towards Wolf and crouched down, attempting to reach her height. What's wrong, Wolf? Is your bowl empty? I'll go fill it up for you. Wolf howls, grow louder as she bit into Blue's trouser leg. What on earth has gone into you today, Wolf? Grandfather said, shaking his head in disapproval. That was when Little Blue saw it. The lion was prowling at the end of the corridor and was now bolting towards Little Blue. Lion, lion, he shrieked as he shut the door behind him. The lion was still clawing to get in. 
Grandpa promptly picked up the phone and began to dial animal control. Little Blue was struggling to hold the door closed much longer. He felt as if he were about to collapse until he heard an animal control busting through the door. Animal control takes Gilly Got to work capturing the lion in a net and put it in the back of the van. We can't thank you enough, thank the person in charge of capturing the lion. Because of you, New York is safe. Oh, and for your troubles, here, take this. The animal control person handed the little blue a thousand dollar check before leaving.